Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo, and today we'll be talking about some hidden features that's built inside of Samsung Notes. Now, for the majority of today's video, I will be using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra because it does have the S Pen, but if you have any other Samsung phone that has Samsung Notes, once you open this up, you're basically able to do the exact same thing, uh, but you just have to either type it out with the keyboard or use your finger. Now, if you're not familiar with Samsung Notes, Samsung Notes is an application that's made by Samsung, and it's a way that you're able to sync all of of your notes across all of your Samsung devices. Now, if you have a Galaxy Note series, you can use the S Pen. If you have any other phone or tablet, then you'll just have to use either the keyboard or you'd have to use your finger. Now, the first thing I do wanna show you inside of here is by going inside of this little navigations button there. So then this way you can hit on the settings button on the very top right hand side. Now there's two things you should turn on. The first one will be syncing it with your Samsung Cloud and then also syncing it with Microsoft OneNote. This is a beta program here, but it's a way that you're able to sync it across all of your devices logged in with Microsoft OneNote and as well as syncing it across all of your Samsung Cloud. So anytime you get a brand new Samsung phone, the moment you log in, you sign in, all of those notes carry over. Now, right after this, I want you to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And down here, you'll see these three different options. This first one here is to show links inside of notes. The second one is to show web previews. So if you can show previews of websites that you add into your notes using the share button and other applications. And this big one here, it's actually pretty fun to play with. It's these action icons. So you can call numbers, uh, send emails, solve equations, and check out websites and things like that just by hovering your S Pen. So let's go back. Let's go inside of this little uh, note example here with a bunch of different written actions. I don't think Samsung ever really gave it a name, but I'm gonna call it written actions because uh, it's something that you write and it comes along with an action. There's a lot of different examples and then after all of these written actions, we'll talk about many other things that you're able to do inside of Samsung Notes. But this first option here that you're able to do is write down a phone number. Now, the nice thing about this is sometimes you might go right inside your Samsung Notes, you write down uh, people's phone numbers, maybe you're watching lectures, you're taking notes, maybe you got a house inspector coming over, you're writing down a bunch of things that they say, then they tell you their phone number. And instead of you asking for a second time, to put it in the phone book or go back and forth between Samsung Notes and the phone book or the phone application, then all you'd have to do is once you have it written, hover the S Pen over this little you know, written phone number or if you typed it out on a different Samsung phone, you just have to simply tap it. But when you hover over top of it, you hit that little phone icon, it's gonna take it right inside of your phone application. So from here, you can give it a call or you can add them as a contact right from Samsung apps. Makes things super easy. Maybe you're at a bar, somebody gave you a phone number and you wanna make sure it's right. You did it through here because you wanna look sophisticated and cool. You're able to call them right from there and then you can see if uh, they gave you a correct number or not. So moving down over inside of the website option here. So if you write down a www.blank.com, then you just have to hit on this little globe icon. And once you tap that, it's gonna take you over inside of the website. Now there is one thing I do wanna show you really fast. So let's say that you're inside of the notes. So this is where you're able to take the notes edit things, add things in. You can see that I have my toolbar down here and you try to kind of go through and tap it and you're just writing, just go back one. So this is you viewing that note. So again, you are viewing this note. You're not editing it. You're not writing it. This is where you can hover to do all of these actions. Now, this next one is actually pretty nice. Even my at symbol is not good. It's not even really that close to my O, but this is my email. Let's say that you wanted to, uh, you jotted down someone's email. You just hover over that. You tap on the email button, it gives you a bunch of different options. You can send maybe them a PayPal, uh, go inside of Outlook, send them an email or Gmail. Once you go inside of there, it's gonna put them into the two and you just create your, your email for them. Oh, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials on these Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, when it comes down to the date, I wasn't really able to write it down and make it work. I tried writing it multiple different ways with dashes, with lines, with periods, uh, it just didn't work. And you wanna make sure that you go with the full digits. So two digit, two digit, four digit. But once you tap on that one there, so you can add it inside of your Outlook calendar or you can add it inside of your Gmail calendar. You just choose whichever one you want. It's gonna to go to that date and you just type in your title. You know, if you're writing a bunch of things down around it, what you're able to do is you're able to copy and paste anything that's written and then you just tap on the date and then you just paste it in for whatever that thing is. 
Now, when it comes down to the math, this one's actually pretty cool. So a lot of people right now, they're at home helping their children out with math. <laughs> There's a lot of different equations you can do. Then we have eight times eight. Once you go inside the calculator, you can see there the answer is 64. Then you also have 64 divided by two. Uh, there's your answer 32 and then i went with one a little bit longer and they actually you know it's calculator so it goes through pemdas for you so this way you'd have the answer of eight now when you go through and you try to um you know type these ones out i found out that when you write down the equations it actually came out to be a little bit easier than if you were able to go off and type them. So again, if you have any other Samsung phone, uh, you wanna take a look at the, the overview look. You don't wanna go inside of that whole editing option. Again, you just go inside of there. It goes inside of your, your uh, phone book. Same thing with the website, date. And then when it comes down to the math, I wrote it down here. So you got 15 minus six. And so you just kind of use the dash. There's your answer of nine. And then for this one, I tried to use X and a whole bunch of other things, uh, but you just want to use the star. Again, that's another way of stating times. So there you go. That's how you're able to do it. If you're using just a regular, you know, Samsung notes on a phone that is non note device again, without that S pen. So let's move on to the rest. This was a lot of things with the, the written actions. So let's move on. Now for the rest of today's video, we will be going inside of this little brand new note. Now this first one I'm gonna show you will be inside of insert. Now this one might not be as helpful uh, as the other ones that we talk about today, but this one is definitely fun and artsy. When you go inside of the insert and then you go to drawing, you have a bunch of different pens and markers and pencils and, and blurs and things like that. But choose the second one here. This one's called the oil paintbrush. Now, once you choose the oil paintbrush, uh, you can choose you know, how thick you want it to be just by tapping on the icon, uh, and you can also change the color. So this one's actually pretty fun. Let's say that we head over inside of red. And again, this is something that is very uh, realistic. So if you're using oil paintbrushes and you actually change to a different you know, color, it's going to blend. So this way, if you wanted to create a little bit of orange inside of here, and then you're able to do that with the yellow and the red, there's a lot of, you know, fun things that you're able to do. So again, as you are using with a brand new color, it's going to be darker or you know, more of that color you just chose. And then when you come in, it's going to kind of start, you know, fading and blending. So it's actually really cool for all of this to kind of, you know, come through and work. And then you also have, let's see, I think it was this one right here. It's more of this like blend. So as you kind of draw through it, you can, you know, move things around and you can have some really cool effects with this one too. So really, I mostly just wanted to show the oil brush because they went super realistic with this one. So anytime that you wanted to blend some things, uh, you're able to actually do that and, and have some fun. So with this next one, this is gonna be very practical for really any time that you are taking notes or drawing or writing or whatever. And that is where you're able to, you know, go between your eraser and your, and your writing utensil super quick. So let's say that you wrote something down, but then you needed to erase it. So all you'd have to do is just press and hold and then you just go through with your eraser um, if you have multiple things again you can just go through it with that line right there um, another thing that you're also able to do is when you go inside of your eraser just give it a double tap and you have two different options if you want it to be the full stroke eraser so it gets rid of that whole thing or if you just want the area eraser how big you want it to be and then when you go through here let's say that you just go like that, then you're able to do that little area of eraser. Uh, I usually I do the whole stroke because that just means that I probably just messed up the whole thing. But yeah, you are able to actually change it with a double tap right there or just a additional tap. But really uh, what I was trying to show here is that you're able to switch between the two. So again, if you make any type of written note, press and hold, and then you're able to use this as an eraser. Now, another thing that I do wanna show you here is right now we are on our writing utensil. Now, if you actually press this twice, your little uh, button, you can see that we switched it over to the eraser. So this way you can just erase, double press, and then you're right back in. So as you can see, there's two different ways that you are able to erase anything. So the first one is gonna be, let's just say that you press and hold on the button, it goes inside of the eraser. Or if you just do a quick double press, it switches it. You can see there going from your eraser over to your writing utensil. Now there is one more action you're able to do with that S Pen button. And instead of giving it a double press or a press and hold, if you just press it once, you'll be able to switch between your favorite pens that you have selected. And you can see right there in the middle what it's switching to. And you can see that the S Pen, the, the little air command there, it's basically kind of reacting with you pressing of the button and it shows it right there. Now, if you wanted to add in more favorited pens, just go to this icon right there, 
hit on the plus button and let's say that you wanted to do pencil let's say that you want it to be pretty thick we're going to go with this color here you hit on done now it's going to be added in right there so it might not be there we go that is exactly the one that we just got done choosing again if you want to change it you hit it once if you want to go to your eraser you hit it twice and then if you go back to your pencil by hitting it two times if you do a press and hold it'll turn into the eraser. But that's pretty much it for today's video. The last three kind of went hand in hand with the S Pen button with the double press, single press, or the press and hold. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.